Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Mario Kart Tour. Today we're talking about some brand new data mining evidence of some new things coming our way. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at the one new driver that we'll be getting, not a reskin. We'll be taking a look at also the future pipe that we'll be getting in the second half. No, actually midway we get a 30 or a 50 pipe usually. It is a 30 pipe and has some pretty damn good stuff in it. So let's get into it. Um, <laughs> first of all though, this every pipe. It's grammatically ambiguous. I thought it was after you get every single cup, you get one. Which was just sounding in my head that didn't sound right anyway. But it's actually clear all of them get guaranteed high end. I'm looking forward to that. I feel like it's nice that they've gifted us something that will be for free. And free to play players will get this as well. Right, so our source <coughs> of data mining, as always, is Mario Kart Tour News. Definitely go follow them or check them out if you're not already. Right, stay tuned for data mining. The data mining is here. So we have Monty Mole is, is going to be the pack, I believe, for the second week. What is this green thing? What is this green thing? Uh, it's probably just in a coin run or something. It gives you extra coins because like a blue one, like a red one, maybe green one gives you a bit more. I'm not sure. Let's see what people think. Is anybody saying, what are, what are these? Ooh, sexy, but not as sexy as those high-end Fortnite butt twigging skins. <laughs> um, right, now here's, here's what we're really getting into. Spotlight Week 2 and the 30 pipe. We do have a glider pipe. This is huge because it has Gold Swooper, which is the best, um, covers the most tracks currently. We have Swooper as well, which is... No way near as good. We have both butterfly wings, which I have not pulled. I don't believe I've got any of them. And we have dragon wings and the other one. So if you take a look at, for me personally, this is a must. It's 30 pipe. That's going to cost, I've got three uses in me. It's just, they're, they're really good gliders. I'm guessing you get three out of the six in those pipes. Um, so if we take a look at the gliders, Gliders, please. I currently have purpose per, personally for me. These are big. Gold swooper, I don't need, but I need it because I want to take that to level six. If that makes any sense. Swooper is at level three. It covers seven, nine tracks. Some of them pretty good in there. Um so that could that could be could be good getting that to level four. But I'm, um, yeah, I'm missing Dragon Wings. It has comes with Green Shell Plus. Currently covers a huge amount of levels. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 levels. Does that cover more than Gold Swooper now? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Oh, no, no. Gold Swooper is not the best. Dragon Wings is, is the best glider. It's huge. And then we have Wicked Wings. With Super Home Plus, which I haven't pulled, and that covers 11 levels. So this is going to be huge to pull for, potentially down the line. That's going to cover you on some tracks. They don't seem to be any really new ones. I think I'm actually already covered for most of those anyway. Um, we also have... We don't, do we, we don't have the Tropical Glider. We also have the two Butterfly Wings. So we've got the Butterfly Sunset. Mega Mushroom covers some pretty decent levels, but again, not. I don't think that's necessary for me. You've got to remember that some of these ones that you may think the best ones to pull are the ones that cover 16 levels, but sometimes they're not because you want the ones that cover like six because they're more likely to be picked in future tours and help you out. And then we have the final butterfly wings. Comes with lightning plus. So it's not going to be one where we've got loads of coin pluses. They're pretty bad special skills across the board. Apart from the gold swooper. But this covers five levels. And this goes to what I'm saying previously. Five levels. This will come good later down the line. Um, so well worth pulling. I mean dream situation. Would be that I got both butterfly wings. Uh, no, Dragon Wings, one of the Butterfly Wings, and a Gold Swooper. Or I wouldn't mind getting the three new gliders. If you get Swooper, personally, I don't feel like I'm going to be benefiting from that too much. 
So that pipe is going to be very, very good and very, very tempting. You, of course, don't need to spend a full 135 rubies, quick math. Um, 30 pipe meat. You could get really, really lucky in that first 10. Get all three. I'm praying for that. I will definitely be doing a 10 launch on that. 20 launch is a possibly, probably, and 10 is a 30 pipe. It, doing 30 is, is like, mm, I probably will if I, if I miss, if I don't get any. So we'll see how that, that, that launches. So that that's just gives you some kind of insight into whether you not whether or not to save your um, your hardened ruby, rubies. Next week we will have Nabbit. And that spotlight seems to have some pretty good stuff in it. We've got a new cart and a new glider there. And we've also got heart balloons. So that's going to be well worth pulling for. Um, but again, it's like, do you want to save for a future tour? Yes. The cart and the glider, uh, to my knowledge, isn't that great in terms of going to be helping you out. So the Cax X only has Slipstream Plus. I mean, it will cover two of the calamari desert twos this tour so would be good down for this tour potentially and down the line it may cover some future tracks because there's not many in there that it covers already um it is the nabbit oil paper umbrella doesn't cover any of the the new tracks for calamari twos um Covers four levels, again, could come good down the line. Chocolate Mountain, Chocolate Mountain, R and T. Makes it a pretty good um, one when you compare it to some of the other ones that we looked at previously. They cover a lot of old tracks. Chocolate Mountain is a newer track that could could benefit you down the line. Um, so it's, it's I think it's going to be an interesting week and very tempting week in terms of launches. Then we have the final news Data mining, new character, Bomb King, will be coming into the game. So, looks like it will have a special skill. So rather than double bob bombs, it may be that it has, like, a very special bomb. Don't know how that's going to work. I mean, it looks like it's got, like, a little fire incinerator inside it that will explode. And maybe it'll have something different, like, explode lead for flame a line of flames on the track so you've got no choice but to like that would, that would wreck wouldn't it that would destroy because you could be in first place and everybody that's probably not going to happen <laughs> it's probably just a normal bob bomb just looks different um and as is custom as is tradition on the last track whatever the um the the enemy is the giant enemy is is usually a clue to who you're going to be getting um, or sometimes they have things within the level that, that act as a little clue um, so looks like we will be getting a brand new character wow first Nabbit now King Bobom. who is who's next King K Rule this is good I think this is a lot of people have been asking for this you know no longer getting reskins no longer making them just gold I mean, like, seriously adding somebody in. And, yeah, I'm super excited about that. Future tours. I'm excited to see what we get when it comes to the anniversary. I'm just really holding out for it. Apart from that, though, that is all for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, if you want to keep up to date with any future content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That is all for this one. See you guys soon.